Hello everyone, we are back for 2021 and we have got the best episode ever. I know that we always say that, but we have the best guests. So joining us in this episode is Paul Burns and he's going to be showing you how you can take control of a terrible situation using technology, specifically the Power Platform. Stay tuned. Hello. And welcome back to Less Code, More Power. I'm Donna Sarkar, and my lovely co-host is... Sarah Critchley. And we are here today in the brand new year um, with a very special guest who we were so inspired by when we heard his story on Twitter. We'd love for everyone to meet Paul Burns. Hi, Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Donna. And hi, Sarah. So, Paul, where are you located right now? Uh, I'm approximately 12 miles from Glasgow in Scotland. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I live in a place called Bells Hill. I see. So there's a major PowerPlat conference in Scotland called Scottish yeah. Summit. Um, yeah. I was so excited to have the opportunity to actually attend this year, but thanks pandemic, um, we don't get to do it in person. But I'm so hopeful that next year we can show up at Scottish Summit in person and maybe shoot these in real life. That would be amazing. Yeah, be lovely. Yeah, I've signed up for the for most of the um, events in it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's a ton of sessions, right? There's yeah. like a hundred sessions. There's yeah. it's going to be a fantastic event. So well, you told us a very interesting story about how you have been helping stroke survivors with your tech skills in the Par platform. Do you want to tell us a little about that? Well, well, um, and. June the thirteenth, twenty seventeen, I I um, I suffered two strokes. Um, it started at half past four in the morning. I was working in Aberdeen at the time, and um, thankfully I realised what was going on, so I, I got rushed to hospital, and I got um, a treatment called thrombolization, um, where they, they basically pump your body full of a chemical to break up the clots and hopefully save your life. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I, thankfully I was, I'm here to uh, a 11 hour day. So um, I I was left paralyzed on the right hand side. I lost all use of my arms and legs and I had to work really quite hard to get all, to get most of it back. I've got about ninety-five percent of the movement back, but, yeah. you know. But the handwriting part of it is has always been a bit difficult. So I started using Office, or uh, was Office three six five back then, and uh, I really liked the. I really liked everything about Office three six five. It was it was good for my clients. I'm I'm a consultant. I do quality health, safety, and environmental consultancy. So. There were there were parts of it that, that I could see could I could help with my clients, and make things a bit more efficient for them, and then I started exploring the power apps and uh, I I started watching videos on YouTube and I was I was watching uh, Reza and uh, April and uh, Rory Neary and I, and Rory put this wonderful gesture in October of last year to say I'm I'm running a course and anybody can do it for free. Now I'm a Scotsman, I'll do that. <laughs> Anything that's going to not, not going to cost them money, I'll do that. So um, I started on the Rory Neary's Zero to Hero um, Power Apps course, and it, it was great. It was really well structured, and it was, it's a terrific course. And um, I, as I was going along, I, I started looking at things and saying, mm, I wonder if I could do this and I could do that. And then I thought I could practice my handwriting on this digital, oh. you know. And the thing about being a, a stroke survivor is you learn very quickly to, to improve yourself. You need to repeat actions a lot. So I thought if I, if I could get a writing app, you know, we could practice that writing app. And, um, and it, just, it just kind of developed from there. My, my son, Craig, was watching me and he, he says, you know, he says, I've never seen you so enthusiastic about something for, wow. for, for four years or, you know, three years. So um, it's been great. And the how it's just, 
uh, it seems to have captured people's imaginations and it's it's just absolutely fantastic now, you know and then listen i i have never done anything with power apps and you know before you know last year so for me to go out and create this and it's very very simple i mean there's, there's not very many commands in this at all uh, and that was purposely because I, I wouldn't know how to, I don't know how to write all these formulas and things. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, you know so it, it you know I've said before to the other people, the people at Microsoft who have developed this and and created all this and made it so easy for people like me to to create something like this. It's fantastic, it really is. Sorry, I'm waffling on. No, this I, is amazing. This is an amazing story. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah. That's so, so good. what's so inspirational is that you decided to take control of the situation and you got yourself out of your comfort zone and said you know one half of my body is paralyzed I, and you diagnosed the problem which is you need to repeat writing to learn it and yeah. you're you're going to use something you know technology to actually do that yeah and you were able to solve the problem not just for you but for so many other mm -hmm. stroke survivors yeah since uh, since 2017 my background and some of my passion is i i do uh, korean martial art taekwondo oh and uh my second the second down in black, black belt and that my son's actually down doing a, a zoom class at the moment downstairs uh so one of my one of the, the things we learn through the martial arts is you you continually repeat movements to just to to, to you try to perfect them you'll never get there with perfection but you try, you keep trying and you keep trying and keep yeah. trying so when i initially after the stroke and i was going through my rehab um i, I quickly learned that there were there were certain ways in in, in taekwondo that i could use to practice movement i couldn't what's called you know supinate i couldn't turn yeah. my, my wrist around so um with the with the martial arts you know if you're doing a a, a punch you you twist your you, you twist your wrist yeah so I, I, I turn that around and take it back and i do that every day you know and eventually the movement started coming back in at hand it, it, it was remembering those those moves from prior to to my stroke yeah. and then i would practice my leg work and you know doing kicking and things you know and um and i, I was going to the rehab of the, the local hospital and they were they were really amazed at the um the progress i made you know with a short a fairly short space of time so i then got involved in sorry i'm waffling on again <laughs> i then got involved in a fascinating a, story uh, a, a stroke uh, a stroke support group and I help, I, I help out with that things have been a bit hectic you know with the past year with the uh, covid we, we haven't been able to help out quite as much but um yeah it's just you know i've I seen this and I, you know and i developed the the app and and hopefully other people will be able to use it if only one person uses it to practice and even if kids just use it for practicing how to do letters it's you know it's a great thing i don't you know it's brilliant you've ta you've taken such a terrible thing to happen to you and you've made like what donna said right you've taken control over it but also actually like use technology to help yourself and others which is yeah. just amazing so yeah, that's that's so good, and I'm so keen to see it. Could you show mm -hmm. us this application? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, give me a second or two. I'll get this open up. It, it, this is just a front screen, but it will take you to the, the letter index and the the shape, um, a shape home screen, if, if you like. Uh, and these are just pure, you know, they're just navigation buttons, really. Um, so if we take the, we'll take me to each of the letters. Um, so if I pick on. I don't know, yeah. yeah so i had to think of you know you, you don't want a lot of bright colors and things like that you know with, particularly with people with um injuries to the to the brain you know it's, you don't want flashing images either so i had to think keep it keep it really simple the the 
the the letters that you can see that they're they're a kind of flowing letter. They're not rigid like a, a Times Roman Human Times Roman type thing, uh, and it's because that with um, with my particular um, effect of my hands it, it's, it's quite difficult to control the pen and curves so that's why I, I particularly chose this this type of font uh, to make it a slightly more difficult for myself uh, but it'll help me in the long term it'll help other people I suppose as well so we went to uh, go back here that's a really good consideration, right? Because like yeah. something is just like because like some people may like just pick fonts just because they look nice, whereas this is actually an actual yeah. functional reason why you've picked. Yeah, up. yeah, right. I've agreed to the the shape scheme. I just picked various shapes and even uh, so we you know we can uh, we can select. A, let's go here. And it's just a a, a pen. There's a pen input, a text input, or something. Pen input. Um, screen yeah and you can just oh that's interesting you know, brilliant you know i'm just using oh, like not, not a pen sorry no no uh, no no no. but we get we get the point right like yeah. you would then use the pen on your ipad to yeah. then trace around yeah. the, 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 the tracing yeah, yeah and the, the I, th I thought about you know making the the, the shape smaller uh, as well so that it increases that difficulty um yeah you know, from from the point of view of the user, you know, it's, it's not as easy to, to draw those straight lines. Um, the smaller it gets, you know, that type of thing. So really, you know, and then, the, the, like I said before, that the the actual app itself is is, is very simple in, in terms of you're just navigating from one screen to the next. Um, and there's like 30, 40 screens there with, and not for um, but 30 screens, you know, the 26 letters and the six or seven shape screens, you know. This is so, amazing. You know, I, I, I had to keep it as I had to keep it as, as simple as possible because I'm not a, I'm not a developer, you know, I don't know how to do formulas and things. I'm trying to learn that at the moment, but it's um it's, it's difficult for an old brain to take all this in. <laughs> Paul, this is honestly, this is so good. Like, I, I th I'm pretty sure Donna and I are holding back quite a lot because we have so many questions. But this, this yeah. can make such a difference. So, given what you've shown us today, could you tell, like, what do you want people, like our audience, to do? Like, could you, what, what's the homework for today's episode? Well, I, I think you know, I think most people will know somebody that's been affected by an illness, you know, within the family. So maybe looking at apps that may help help them i've been i've been thinking about an app for um i can never pronounce this word um but a lot of stroke uh, strokes survivors have problems speaking after it, and i've been thinking about an app where you can record yourself talking into it uh and then you know you can play it back and you can continually practice it but i, I don't know how to do it <laughs> so, that me too that's your V2 version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. I love this, Paul. This is so powerful. I like how Thank there's you. there's that gradient of it starts off more easier with the big triangle, then you know, you need more motor skills to get to the smaller yeah. triangle. So yeah. I think that's really cool because it helps people realize they're making progress. Yes. So they're able to make progress itself mm -hmm. within the app. So that is yeah. wonderful. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Brilliant. So all right. Well, thank, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, that your app is wonderful. We can't wait to air this episode, you. and we're going to definitely add, you know, links to all of the uh, the things that you recommend we look at. Um, thank you for doing this work. Thank you for taking control of this horrible thing that happened to you, and thank you for being such a role model to not just other stroke survivors, but to our entire community. I have to thank you guys because you know. I am I'm still in shock <laughs> that, uh, that you invited me along. Um, so um, blessings to you both. Thank you very much. This and is the easy thing. This is the easy thing. Yeah, to everybody yeah. in the community. It is the our community, pleasure. Yeah. The Power Platform is community is absolutely fantastic. I mean, yeah. I'm just an old guy who just, you know, kidding on with us and playing about with it, you know, but 
the people, you know, the people uh, are just so helpful. The, the fantastic community, you know. Yeah, they really are. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Paul. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully for those of you watching, you know, this, this has been such an inspiring story and you've got your homework. So have a think about, you know, those people that are close to you that maybe have been impacted by something, how can you use the Power Platform to help them? Because it's a lot about the mindset piece. It's a lot about taking control, as Donna said, of your situation and actually doing something that will help you and others. So, uh, yeah, really, then stay, stay tuned for some more episodes. And in the meantime, less code, more power.